swear by Almighty God that the evidence I shall give shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. 700, Constable Lumley, Toxton Police Force. Constable Lumley, were you driving the car that took Sergeant Goss to the Glade at Grattan St. Peter's on the 23rd of March this year? I was, sir. Did you know beforehand why you were going to the Glade? It was a routine check, sir. You knew this? I did, yes, sir. Was it to check on anyone in particular? Uh, no, sir. And did it include the whole village? It did, yes, sir. Not just the Glade? Oh, no, sir. Now, where were you parked when the incident occurred? On the opposite side of the road, sir. And was there any obstruction to prevent you having a clear view? None, sir. And what did you see? I saw Easter hit Mr. Goss, sir. You saw Easter hit Mr. Goss? I did, yes, sir. How many times? Once, sir. Did he hit him hard? Well, as far as I could see, he did, yes, sir. What makes you think he hit hard? Mr. Goss is a strong man, sir. He seemed to react to the blow. He staggered a bit. And what did Mr. Goss do after he'd been hit? He straightened up, he looked Easter right in the eye and gave him a straight right in the solar plexus. And then? Then he got hold of him. I thought it was by his collar. He dragged him across to the car, I opened the door and Easter got in, sir. Now, did he stumble as he got into the car? He did, yes, sir. He stumbled and fell. He hit his head against the back of the driver's seat. Did he appear to hurt himself? Well, he hit himself pretty hard as he fell. Yes, but did you see if he'd hurt himself? Did you see any blood? I did afterwards. When he looked up, it seemed that his lip was bleeding, and then later he showed us that he'd broken his tooth. He accused Mr. Goss of breaking it on purpose. And had Mr. Goss broken it on purpose? No, sir. And was Mr. Goss even touching Easter when this happened? No, sir. Thank you, Constable. Sir. Constable, you say this was an entirely routine check? Yes, ma'am. Is there anyone else whom you check on as often as you check on Benny Easter? There wasn't anyone else, Constable. Just up. answer the question, Constable, please. Possibly not, ma'am. Right. You see, what I cannot understand about this case is if, as you say, you clearly saw Sergeant Goss being assaulted, if, as you say, you clearly saw him stagger under the blow, then why did you not come to his assistance? I knew he'd be okay, ma'am. But you didn't even get out of the car? No, ma'am. Why not? Well, I knew he'd be all right. But if Mr. Goss staggered under the blow, how could you possibly know he'd be all right? He's a strong man, ma'am. Were other members of the group standing by, John Tucker and others? There were, yes. Well, weren't you afraid that they may come to the assistance of their leader? <laughs> then I would have gone to Mr. Goss's assistance, ma'am. But wouldn't you have been too late, Constable? I don't think so, ma'am. Don't you think that you should have got out of the car just in case? I don't think so, ma'am. Isn't it in fact the case, Constable, that you were not afraid for Sergeant Goss's safety because he was never assaulted at all? No, ma'am, he was. No further questions. I call Violet Tradeer. You are Violet Tradeer of number 11, Pettifer Close, Otterspire. Yes. A lady's hairdresser by profession. Yes. Now, you know Benny Easter, Miss Tradeer? Yes. Do you know him well? Yes. Did he ever talk to you about Sergeant Goss? Oh, all the time. And did you get the impression that he didn't like Sergeant Goss? He hated him. Now, how did you gather this? Things he said. He never talked about anything else when I saw him. What sort of things did he say? Oh, it was always about how he'd get him, how he'd do this and that when he got him, how he'd done this and that. What sort of things did he say he'd done? Well, he used to tell me how he'd been up to his cottage with the gang and how they'd thrown things in the garden. Oh, there were disgusting things they'd done at night. They'd gone into Mr and Mrs Goss' garden and done things. What sort of things? Oh, disgusting things. In the flower beds. I don't like to say. Do you mean that they had excreted amongst the flowers? That's what they said. Not like that, though. Now, what else did he talk about in relation to Sergeant Goss besides these incidents? It was always about how he'd do this and do that. Did he ever mention anything to you about getting him legally? Oh, yes. That was his big thing. See, he'd heard about coppers, <laughs> policemen that went too far, that sort of thing. He knew you could get a policeman that went too far. How did he know this? I don't know. He found out. He knew everything. Now, why do you think he was so against Sergeant Goss? Oh, he had to be. He was the leader. He had to be the one that was going to get him. Now, did he ever talk to you about getting him after he was acquitted of assault? Oh, he was out of his mind with delight after that, he was. Yes, but did he actually talk about getting Goss? He did. He said, now we'll get him. Now we'll get him. He said, Sergeant Goss, more like constable, scrubbing out the cells. They all thought that was hilariously funny. Now, you didn't actually see the incident, did you, Mr. Dear? No, I didn't. Did Easter describe it to you? 
Oh, yes, he certainly did. And how did he describe it to you? Oh, he was overjoyed about the whole thing. It was his big moment. He was centre of attraction in the village. Could you just tell us how he described the incident? Well, you see, the thing was, he had to say why he hadn't beaten Goss. Because he'd always boasted that if Goss so much as laid a finger on him, he'd beat him, smash him into the ground, something he'd always boasted about. So, you see, he had to tell Would you just tell us about the incident from when he first touched Goss? Touched him? That's not how he described it. He said to me, now this is what he said. He said, as soon as he pushed me, I thumped him and he almost fell over. And then, now this is what he said to me. Then suddenly I thought, this is it. I let him beat me if he dares, and then I'll really have him. Then I'll really get him. So Easter told you that he'd struck Goss? Thumped him, yes. And that he restrained himself merely in order to get Goss? That's right. And did you believe this? Well, that's what he told everyone. If he said he hit him, that's what he did. Now, Mr. Dear, did Easter ever talk to you, uh, or about in your presence, Susan Goss? <gasps> did he? He certainly did, yes, sir. And did he give the impression that he was fond of her? He wasn't fond of her. He couldn't stand her. Well, he know... couldn't wait for all this to get rid of her. Yes, well, then, do you know why, in, in that case, that he went around with her? Oh, it was all part of the same thing, see? It was all part of his thing against Mr Goss. He knew Mr Goss didn't like it. He'd do anything he knew Mr Goss didn't like. What sort of things did he say about Susan Goss? Oh, all sorts. Awful things. Can you repeat some? I don't like to... It doesn't seem right. Were they personal things? Oh, very personal, yes. I suppose I've got to tell. Yes, it would be better if you did. Well, he used to say that she wasn't any good at it. Thank you, Mr. Dear. Mr. Dear, you've told us that you knew Benny Easter well. Yes. Were you intimate with him? I don't understand. Did you have intercourse with him, Mr. Dear? Well. Frequently, Mr. Dear? Not very often. How many times a week? Four or five. Did you see him often? All the time. Alone? No, with the others. You went down to the estate? Yes. In the hope of seeing him? No. Well, who else did you see at the Anyone. estate? Anyone. I had friends there. You were quite willing to be on terms of sexual intimacy with Benny Easter, although you were in the knowledge of the fact that he was carrying on an affair with Susan Goss at the same time. No, I wasn't. But you must have known of this affair with Susan Goss. That's what you've just said. I didn't know about that. But you must I didn't have know she was pregnant. You must have known the extent of their relationship. No. But isn't that what you just told us? Didn't you say that Benny Easter had told you that she wasn't any good at it? Now, surely there's only one thing that it can refer to. Well, I don't know. Well, what did you take it to refer to, Mr. Dear? Well, yes, I suppose so. So you were quite happy to have intercourse with Easter, knowing that he was carrying on affair with Susan Goss at the same he time. He kept saying that he'd give her up. And you put up with it. Because he said it wouldn't be long. What wouldn't be long? That he'd give her up. And then he would be yours. I don't know. But under the circumstances, that surely was what you'd hoped for. Maybe. But you were disappointed, were you not? No. For after he left Susan Goss, he was not yours. Now, it is true, is it not, Mr. Dear, that you no longer have any association, any relationship with uh, Benny Easter? We agreed not to. I see. Now, Mr. Dear, you said earlier that... Benny Easter talked to you about this incident. Now, when, it, when was this exactly? What do you mean? Well, I mean, was it before the trial or when? It was before, but he told me not to say anything about it. And when did he ditch you? He didn't. I've told you. He broke off his affair with Susan Goss and you thought you'd got him, but you hadn't. No. And this is your revenge because you hadn't got him. No. In that case, why did you not testify for Sergeant Goss at his earlier trial? Because I wasn't asked. I suggest. It was because all this testimony here now is a fabrication born out of disappointment it and isn't. spite. And that you did not testify previously because at that time you'd not made up this evidence. I'm telling the truth. Thank you, Mr. Dear. Mr. Dear, you've just told us that you accepted Easter's relationship with Susan Goss. Yes. Now, was this because you knew that Easter wasn't sincere about her? Yes, I've already said. I knew he didn't care about her. He used to brag about it. Look at it now. Well, he didn't care about her. He told us he was only doing it to spite them, Mr. and Mrs. Goss. He told all of us that, the old gang he told. The case of Easter against Goss will be resumed tomorrow in the Crown Court.